Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Transformers review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please hit that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Also, make sure and visit my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks provides reproduction and upgrade decal sets for Transformer toys from Generation 1 to the latest modern figures. Make sure and stop by the ToyHacks Armory, where they can equip your figures with new weaponry in multiple colors, and Toy Stages provides backdrops for figure displays and photography. Each purchase with Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that can be used for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is Transformers Generation Selects Hubcap. Now, Hubcap, being a Generation Selects figure, comes in this plain cardboard box with the spray-painted logo and just his name there on the sticker. You open the box up, there's Hubcap right there in all of his glory. And once again, I have to give a big shout-out and thank you to subscriber and friend of the channel, Delmas Dugan, for gifting this Hubcap figure to the channel. Once again, Thank you so much. I am just totally humbled with your generosity. Now, taking a closer look at Hubcap here in the packaging, Hubcap is a repaint of Cliff Jumper with a new head sculpt. So now, without further ado, let's get this guy out of the package and take a closer look at him. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> Now, once you get Hubcap all open and out of the packaging, you'll see he does come with a sheet of instructions, and these are just like all the new modern instructions. They are very well illustrated and very easy to follow. He also comes with this large blaster that can be broken down into smaller components, and of course, you've got Hubcap himself. As I said in my intro, Hubcap here is a straight-up repaint of Earthrise Cliff Jumper with a new head sculpt which is very fitting because the Generation 1 hubcap was a repaint of Cliff Jumper with a new head sculpt. Now, here is hubcap compared with Earthrise Cliff Jumper, so you can see the similarities. Now, keep in mind that my Cliff Jumper has been enhanced thanks to Toy Hacks decals. Another thing is the weapon. Cliff Jumper's weapon is more of a silver chrome look, where hubcaps is more dark gray. Now, taking a closer look at the figure, let's check out that head sculpt. I love that head sculpt. That is really, really cool. I actually really like the color scheme. The red and the orange works very well, and he's very Generation 1 looking. Great sculpt to detail. I dig it. Really, really cool. Other than that, that's the only difference between Hubcap and Cliff Jumper. Everything else is the same. I do like that they actually gave him a Tampagraphed Autobot logo. Cliff Jumper didn't have anything. So, yeah, pretty neat little figure. Now, articulation, same as Cliff Jumper. The head can rotate a complete 360 and look up and down. Mine is really tight, though, which is always good for a figure. Arms up and down, full 360. There's an elbow bend, elbow rotation. Very, very tight once again. And a wrist rotation. There's also... Waist rotation, legs up, in, out, up, down, knee bend, and great ankle tilts. That's awesome. So yeah, Hubcap is really, really cool. And of course, he can hold his weapon here. So you think about it, you've got Hubcap, you've got Cliff Jumper, you've got the upcoming Bumblebee and Bug Bite. They're all going to have these bazooka weapons. Look like the Autobots and Decepticons are really... Boosting their anti-tank division. That is really cool. 
Now, speaking of hubcaps weapon, this weapon can be broke down and utilized in quite a few different ways, but I'm not going to go over all of that because it's the exact same as cliff jumpers. And if you want to see it, check out my cliff jumper review right there. But what I'm not going to skip over is hubcaps transformation. Normally when I do these straight up repaints, I don't go over the transformation, but his is really, really cool. First thing you're going to do is remove the backpack. Yes, he is a parts former, but he does parts forming well. So then you're going to take this little peg right there and fold that up into the back section of the vehicle. Now right here, flip behind and take these panels out from the feet. You're going to bring those down like so and rotate those wheels in place so you more or less have the front of the vehicle. Now, flip the chest down and flip this section up and over hubcap's face. Snap that back into place. Now, this is the cool part. You're going to twist here at the waist. You're going to fold this down. You're going to bring these sections around, which will form the rear of the vehicle. Lock in place pretty good. So get those over and around. You're going to take the arms, fold the arms down. Get this back lined up and you want to bring the fist out like so and you just get everything lined up it's kind of wonky to get it lined up but a cool wonky if that makes sense so get everything tabbed together snapped in place get the doors lined up the other side i mean this vehicle mode once it's all tabbed in is a solid vehicle so now we got the hands looking like so you get the back section and there's these pegs right here they're going to slot into those fists make sure they're lined up right slot those in and once again just make sure everything is snapped in place nice and tight and there is hubcap in vehicle mode and once again, he's a straight up repaint of Cliff Jumper, but this is a fantastic vehicle. I love the rims that are collared in on the tires, the wheels. Love that Tampa Graft Autobot logo right there. That looks really cool. Vehicle mode, man, this is one of the better rolling vehicles. This might as well be a Hot Wheels car. This thing flies. You've got a solid painted rear windshield, solid painted side windows, but the front here is translucent plastic. It's a smoky translucent plastic, but you can see inside and see the robot hinges. So that is one drawback. Let me get that side pop back into place. These new figures, man, you just gotta make sure everything's tabbed in. But yeah, a solid vehicle. I love this. And of course, here is hubcap compared to cliff jumper in vehicle mode. And yes, you're noticing, wait a minute, where did those white stripes come from? This is another Toy Hacks Enhanced Cliff Jumper. Yes, another because they included options, so I had to buy two cliff jumpers to get both options there. Way to go, Toy Hacks. All in all, another really cool, very solid vehicle mode. And as I said earlier, the weapon here can be broke down to give him kind of a water ski mode, but I did go over that in my cliff jumper review, and you can check that out, as I said, in the link that I showed before. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is Transformers Generation Selects Hubcap with Generation 1 Optimus Prime, Transformers Earthrise Optimus Prime, Generation 1 Cliff Jumper. I don't have a Generation 1 Hubcap because honestly, I keep forgetting about this guy. And Earthrise Cliff Jumper. Transformers Generation Selects Hubcap is how Hasbro should be doing their exclusive figures. Take a obscure character, make him the exclusive, opposed to the core characters. That is what's pissing off a lot of us collectors because we want those core characters and when you make them hard to find exclusives, it kind of puts you off from collecting. You've got a figure like Hubcap here that not many people really know of. I mean, I didn't know anything about this guy until I picked up the Dreamwave More Than Meets the Eye guidebook when I was overseas. 
And as I said earlier, I keep forgetting to add him to my Generation 1 collection. So for an exclusive, this is an awesome figure to have. So there you go, guys. Transformers Generation Selects Hubcap. So, does a Transformers Generation Selects hubcap belong in your collection? Well, if you're an exclusive fan, absolutely. This is a great use of an already great mold. I love the Earthrise Cliff Jumper mold. One of my biggest surprises with the Earthrise line. So yeah, you see this guy, you pick him up. For you mainline collectors that just want the core figures, He's an easy pass. I mean, this guy was never featured in the Generation 1 cartoon or the Marvel comics. And as I said, most people don't even know about him. And that is why I think these type of characters is what Hasbro should focus on for exclusives. Now, I want to let you guys know of a little sale I've got going on on my Patriot Prime Teespring store that sells my t-shirts and other apparel. Right now, through the end of the year, I'm offering 20% off of my shirts and these new hoodies that I just got. You just have to put in the promo code PPRT20 and you get 20% off. They've got the Patriot Prime logo here on the front. And let me get that hood flipped around. The big hoo with saluting Prime on the back. So... My Patriot Prime Teespring store, which is in the description of this video, 20% off if you use code PPRT20. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Once again, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hello!